Hello YouTube, B3 here, back another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the Hulk figure from the second, you know, like Avengers uh, Infinite Series wave. This is from the Thanos Build-A-Figure wave, and this is the Age of Ultron Hulk figure. Yeah, you know, uh, I missed out on the last Avengers Hulk uh, for the first movie. So, you know, I was more than happy when they announced this guy. And... Honestly, I thought he was going to be mostly a rehash, just with different pants, but he actually is a different enough figure. I mean, I don't have the original, so I'm not really sure if he's different enough to uh, warrant buying if you're not going to build Thanos or, you know, an Avengers 2 team or whatever. But uh, I do have the Ultimate Green Goblin build a figure, which was mostly the old Hulk sculpt, and this guy is different. Um... Here's what he comes with. He comes with the right arm of Thanos. So now I got both arms and the head. And the ones I really wanted were him and Spider-Woman. Uh, now I'm going to get Batrock, the Leaper. And he comes with the main body. And the legs uh, come with Iron Man and Captain America. And they're both the Age of Ultron figures as well. But uh, a friend of mine's getting the Iron Man. And he said he's probably going to get Captain America too. And he's not building Thanos. So he said he would just toss the pieces my way. So that's two less I have to buy. Save up money because i got to build that whole Hobgoblin still. And also, you know, other figures and stuff to collect. But yeah, let's zoom out just a little. So we can take a look at this Hulk. Yeah, he's not a bad figure. I do like him. The last Hulk figure I got was the Planet Hulk Marvel Legend. I got him for like nine bucks on clearance at a Walmart. So this is only like, this is, um, how many Hulk figures is this for me right now in my collection? Three? I have like a really old one from that first Hulk movie that had Absorbing Man and Hulk Poodle, you know, that really, really bad one. And uh, I have the Planet Hulk, as I mentioned. And this one, this is a really good, just decent Hulk figure. He's, he's very nice. I don't have a lot of Hulk figures to compare him to because I'm not the biggest Hulk fan, to be totally honest. I really liked Planet Hulk and stuff, but, you know, whatever. I, I just kind of wanted a, another big Hulk that wasn't Planet Hulk. Because Planet Hulk has a silver arm, so, eh. But yeah, articulation, you know, this guy's head, side to side. Kind of up and down, as you can see. Arms up and down, forward and back, you know, bicep swivel, double elbow bend, wrist swivel, in and out, you know, pretty standard stuff, obviously. I kind of thought this guy was going to have a screaming head sculpt, like him kind of roaring, uh, but I guess not. I don't know why I just thought of that. But yeah, you know, he goes back pretty decent, forward really good. And then you got side to side, you know, lots of, lots of movement there. Nothing waist-wise, but... That doesn't bother me at all. Not if this can move side to side like that. It doesn't bother me. Got up and down in the leg. You kind of got that turn right there. You know how they do that joint? So you can turn that so it'll push forward. It's not a big deal. And you got a thigh swivel. Double knee bend. Ah! Up and down on the foot and ankle pivot. So yeah, that's it for uh, articulation. This arm sticks out because it was kind of in the packaging like that. But it's nothing like some more water and hair dryer or something won't fix if it bothers you too much. But yeah, so here he is, Age of Ultron Hulk. Now he's got these like uh, these special Hulk pants that I guess expand with him. And they have a little Avengers symbol right there. It's kind of silver and red. I'm not sure if I'm too crazy with the Avengers symbols on the side of his pants. I guess, I guess that kind of helps. It defines the figure too much for me. Like, it has to be an Avengers Hulk. You know what I mean? Like, I don't just have a regular freaking Hulk that's a good size for Marvel Legends. Because my other one that's not Planet Hulk is too small. But, I mean, he's got a great head sculpt. Very Mark Ruffa Hulk right there. Really good looking. I like the hair. It looks really good. I just like it. Got a new torso here, which is great. It's kind of a different color green in the arms, so that doesn't bother me. Not one bit. Just worth mentioning, though, if it does bother some people. But I think it's fine. I really like the shades of green that they use on this figure. Uh, it's, the paint isn't too clean on the waistline, but that doesn't really bother me either. Lots of great detail in the pants. The paint's 
for the most part pretty clean on the red lines and stuff. As you can see, the paint on the Avengers logo is really, really clean. Do have one big paint problem. Like there's this big paint gap right here where it just, it looks like it was worn off, but it came out of, oh, I just took some more off. Crap, it's just coming off like crazy. See, it's peeling off a lot right there. And that's terrifying. That's honestly terrifying to me. That huge paint gap. The paint's just coming off. And I'm... Ah, oh man, that really makes me sad. But he has these uh, nice sculpted feet, very big. He's got this big old toe gap. A little detail on the bottom. Like the toes and stuff. We got peg holes. Two fist hands this time. As compared to the last time where we had like a fist hand and an open hand. Or on the Ultimate Green Goblin where we had two open hands. But, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty poseable. Looks good. You know, I think it's uh, not bad. So how about we get into some size comparisons? Now here's our Hulk with some other recent Marvel Legends. Here on the left we have Spider-Woman from the same wave as him. So you can get a good look at him with some female Marvel Legends, since I have a bunch of those now. And uh, i got a bunch of these other Marvel Legends over here. Lots of the Bucky Cap sculpt on this Hawkeye on the right. He's got lots of Bucky Cap pieces, so that's really the generic Marvel Legends sculpt at this point for the most part. But... You know, I think he looks really good with both of them. He's really big, like Hulk should be, and I'm glad we could get a single-carded Hulk that wasn't like a Build-A-Figure or something, because lots of characters this big are Build-A-Figures now, which is fine, you know, but it's really cool to just get one that's big, but not a Build-A-Figure. But, you know, since you do get a giant character, you don't really get lots of accessories like interchangeable hands and stuff, you know, so that's, that's the downside. But still, he's really, really cool. And here he is with my boy Spider-Man. Uh, this is just a show him with some other toy manufacturers. Here on the left we have the Toy Biz Spider-Man from, you know, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man film. This is Battle Ravage, Spider-Man specifically. And here on the right we have the Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man, obviously. From Diamond Select's Marvel Select line. So, you get these kind of different manufacturers. And Toy Biz was more or less in the 6-inch scale, you know. They're a little different than your modern Marvel Legends. Some of them run a little smaller, but they are still in the 6-inch scale. So I, I think Hulk still looks good with the Toy Biz figures. And then there's the matter of Marvel Select. And you might think, oh, he's fine, but that, that just feels like Hulk's a little small. Like, Hulk should be big, big. You know, the Marvel Select Hulk figures are just gigantic. They are huge. So I honestly don't think he's going to work well with your Marvel Selects. He just doesn't look as strong or intimidating with them. If you know what I mean. He's too a standard Marvel Select to me. Like what this Hyperion mold. Like Radioactive Man and Sentry. Hyperion, Toxin, Anti-Venom and all those figures. Have up on you know your standard size Marvel Legends. Like that seems to be like that. I don't think he's... Super huge because he should be bigger than Radioactive Man, and he is for Marvel Legends. But I just don't think he's going to work with Marvel Select. So, what are my final thoughts on the Age of Ultron Hulk from the Thanos Build a Figure wave of Marvel Legends Infinite series? Well, he's actually a pretty cool figure. You know, I haven't been messing around with him too much because I've been too busy, you know, messing around with some of my other new figures. But I am getting, I'm getting to him, and I messed around with him plenty. I think for this review, I messed around with him a lot on the night I got him, and. A little before my review and etc. And he is a good figure. I'm just glad I finally have like a regular Hulk for the most part, you know. Uh, I think I'm satisfied Hulk figure wise for a while, you know. I'm not going to need much more than this, really. Because, you know, I'm not big on the Hulk. I mean, I have a ton of different Spider-Man characters and figures and a hundred different Spider-Men, but... Unless they do a new Red Hulk for Marvel Legends, I think I'll be good. Actually, I need Red She-Hulk also. I like the Red Hulks. But all in all, I'm going to give this guy 4 out of 5 stars. You know, I mean, he's not a bad figure in, in the least. And I think that paint problem right there on the knee is only me. And there's nothing really wrong with him, but I wouldn't say there's anything spectacular either. He's just a, he's just a good figure, and he's a good big figure. You know, if you want a big figure but don't want to have to build something, here you go. Because I think uh, the Thanos might be the same size as him. Maybe. Hulk might be a little bulkier, but I think Thanos is just as, you know, big. 
So, you know, we'll have to see once I build Thanos. It's going to happen. I love Thanos, especially his more, more, you know, modern Marvel look. So, yeah, that's it for it. Five stars, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below. Thank you all so much for your support, and I'll see you all later.